right now we're in the suburbs of Toronto. As you can see, people have all types of modified cars and this shit is illegal. So if the cops pull up and they stop them, they're seizing their car, they're taking their license. And so we're gonna freaking see what this street racing shit's all about. So it's about to be lit fam. Illegal street racing happens throughout North America, but police in Ontario will tell you that it's especially rampant in the suburbs of Toronto. Everybody talks all this talk on social media. Prove it, let's go right now on the roads, let's go. Why do we race? There's no reason, we just do it. We do it because we love it. Stories of people dying in crashes on highways are often heard in the media. They take off like missiles into the night at speeds around 140 kilometers an hour. A direct hit is deadly. The daily agonizing pain that our family suffers and continues to. Adrian Segi lost her 21-year-old son to a street racer. If there's one death or one personal injury, that means that we've got to work harder. Those involved in the underground racing scene believe what the public hears is blown way out of proportion. The people here do not support just gunning it on a busy street. Are you going to race on a busy street? Fuck no, that's stupid. But it's hard to argue with the statistics. Serious car collisions cause more fatalities and injuries than all other crimes combined. Then there's street racing, which is goofballs racing light to light, and those are the ones that are killing people. All the more reasons why the police are taking this very seriously. A $450,000 infrared night vision camera because street racing is getting out of control. Police here have spent millions introducing an anti-street racing initiative that allows them to seize your car if you're going 50 kilometers or more over the speed limit. Our goal is to change aggressive driving behavior through education, awareness, and strict strategic enforcement. It's the risk everybody's got to run, man. We don't give a hell. Cops, no cops. We're, we're street racing. That's, that's the end of it. We're meeting up with an underground racing community near the airport. Apparently, the maze of industrial roads in the area make it the best place to race because commercial flight paths make it impossible for police helicopters to fly. If you wanted to see Fast and Furious in real life, this is about as close as you're gonna get. That's usually the lot that we meet in over there, and what they'll do is around like 12, 30, 1 o'clock, they'll call a driver's meeting. Okay. And all the drivers come over, they say, okay, three locations, this one, this one, this one, go. Mm. Everybody, everybody gets in their cars, the and you literally just see everybody going to the first location. And then they go for it, we get as many runs as we can. As soon as cops come, you get in your car and go. Depending on the night, people will actually show up and actually like put cash on races. Yeah, yeah? There's, 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 how much money? How much you like? How much money? The, you high, the, high, the highest one I've seen is twenty five thousand dollars. Twenty five G? Twenty five grand. You guys are talking shit. I swear to God, bro. Damn. We call those the high roller runs. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of different types of runs. Like these ones are more of like just the guys that like come out and enjoy the runs kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then you have like the big high roller guys that got cash and they're, oh, they're, they're ready. Money. They're ready to play. A lot of work goes into this scene. Like, you look and see all these cars around, your shit doesn't happen overnight. It takes work, and that's that's what I believe it keeps the scene going. It's it's competition and it's friend. Like everyone loves a competition. Mm -hmm. You got to be a special kind of person to do this. You got the matte black going on. Yep, I see that. What is this car to you? <laughs> it's like everything, dude. I work six days a week. Like over half the money I make goes into just modifying this. Ryan recently stopped street racing after he was charged for stunt driving. He's one ticket away from losing his driver's license and is helping us navigate the scene. How would that feel if the cop comes one day and says, yo, I'm fucking impounding your car and I'm taking your license and you're never driving again? Whew. Fuck. That'd be the worst. It sucks because it's like we, we don't have an opportunity to race anywhere else. The closest truck is two hours away. Track is expensive. It's a hundred bucks just to get on. It's a tank of gas. It's half a set of brakes. It's like a $400 trip. Honestly, my favorite part about the runs, I, the street racing, that's nothing to me now. Yeah. Honestly, the adrenaline part is running from the cops. Has the new legislation, like the 50 over law and like all these new regulations kind of affected the street scene? Surprisingly not. 
haven't really done anything. Mm. It's just the scene's still the scene. What we're gonna see tonight, these guys are reaching way over 50 over. I've heard stories of dudes getting tased, like guns being pulled, just, and it's like, I, I, I get where they're coming from. Like yeah. I get why they don't shoot us right. Like what we do, yeah, it's illegal, man. Yeah. It's not, there's no, there's no nice way to put it, but at the same time, like, you're not giving us an alternative. Like if they were to close down a street day, you could get that sponsored event, everything going on. Like there is money to be made in this. It's just, it's the cops who make it what it is, who create the fear level. As you can see, people have all types of modified cars, and right now what's going on is they're about to have a driver's meeting. We have fucking cameras. I don't know if they're gonna freaking rush us or anything, but shit's about to be real. Out here, it's mostly young men and a true reflection of Southern Ontario's multiculturalism. But it's also their turf. So yeah, they're a little paranoid because they know everybody in their racing community. Some of our crew almost got a beat down when they first arrived because the racists thought they were undercover cops. <laughs> it's vice, it's vice, it's vice, it's vice, it's vice. It's vice. We're not no, we're not no boy, we're not no fed dog. You guys know me, my name is Femi dog, I'm out here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear. You're up like mad, dog, you know what I mean? That's what it is, that's what it is. I'm trying to break the scene. But yeah, you guys continue your meeting, we're just here observing, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yo, just don't get on the highway when you're running away. Uh, you yeah, don't want no, that really smoke, man. Don't get off on the highway. Okay. Yo, Albert. Somebody come to Stop your shit. <laughs> <laughs> So right now what's going on, they're having, like, what's this, a street yeah, racism meeting? It's the runs. Oh, okay, so the runs are about to go down. So this is the little meeting that they have beforehand to kind of, like, discuss the routes and where they're going to be going. Um, it's very secretive. I think we're about to break right now. Is it, is it about to go down? Is it about to go down? So he just called out three street names. Yeah. So we're about to head out right now. About to head out right now? So does everybody just go like all at once? No, just follow the group. All at once? Just follow the group? We're good, let's go. Let's get it. Pretty nice, I have to say. Like everything seems to happen so quickly and organized. Yeah, like for the little amount of communication, <laughs> the organization is actually impressive. Police Sergeant David Mitchell was one of the founders of Project Erase, a controversial anti-street racing initiative that seems to be working, depending on who you talk to. Wow, this is amazing right here. So what, what is this center here? This center right here is, uh, this is our real-time operations center. It's attached to our 911 comm center, so whether it's police, fire, or ambulance, it starts off here and is directed accordingly. Can you break down what Project Erase is? Erase, uh, eliminate racing activities on streets everywhere. So if you're caught for 50 over the extreme speeds or stunt driving racing, um, you're under arrest, I'm sending it to court, I'm taking your driver's license, and I'm taking your ride for seven days. Has high-speed chases kind of stopped as a result of, of that Drastically. Well? Gone are the days where you, you have a fast car, but I got a faster police car. Mm -hmm. Those days are gone. We don't need to create arguably more of a hazard than what we're actually trying to stop, whether it's the aircraft following you, what calls from citizens. We'll use all of this to our advantage. I call it smart hunting. I don't need to catch you right then, but I will catch you. South half of York region. Okay. So, so these, these things are all squad cars? Yep. So the stuff that's in red right now are calls, are cars that are on calls. Okay. Uh, stuff that's in yellow, uh, those are officers that are on route to calls. Okay. So I can, as far as the call types and stuff like that, I can see what's going on over here. So quickly, if there's an event happening here and it's going that way, well, there's no point in me directing this guy because what's he gonna do? Exactly. He's gonna drive like a maniac. Well, I don't, that's not happening. I see. You, get out there. And, and, and see if you can stop this. If there's an event that's taking place right there, and I need a whole lot of police officers right there, and instead of going, any units in the area? No, you, 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 you. Start going here, this is what's going on. This is what I need you to do.
crazy how, how quick it, it turned into a spectator ordeal. So we're in the heart of it right now. So yeah. we found our first spot, uh -huh. first location where everyone's gonna race. Mm. So they're gonna determine a line. Everyone who's gonna want to race is gonna come out, and uh, someone's gonna set up. They're gonna flag. They're gonna drop hands, and we're gonna be drag racing. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Shit! Oh, these are two cars going at it right now. on the police. Doesn't like social media bait out the scene very easily because people are recording, they put on Snapchat, put on Facebook and Twitter and all that. Feds? Feds. It was decided at the driver's meeting that there would be three race locations. Location one just got raided, and we're headed to the second. So right now, we're at the front of the line in the second location. We got fucking about 100 cars lined up, watching. We got the start line right here. Uh, homeboy basically just puts down his two arms and the races start right away. This shit is an adrenaline rush. The last joint didn't even last about 10 minutes before the police came and they finished it. So they never know how long these races are going to last. All it takes is a flash of a light and the race is over because at the end of the day, people can lose their cars, people can lose their licenses, and that's the last thing that anybody wants. So in a, in a regular street race, what kind of speeds are we talking about? We can, like, some of these guys are going to be hitting up to 200 kilometers an hour. Seriously, in that little distance. In this little distance. Yeah. Those bikes, easily, 100%. High horsepower cars, they're going to be hitting 180, 200. Wow. Oh, yeah, man. This is like any car lover's paradise right here. Look how many people are here that don't know each other. There's 300 people here that know each other. You see people fighting and shit. Mm. You see people fighting with each other and arguing and going crazy. Mm. This is not it. If we're at the club right now, three o'clock in the morning, getting out this many people on the street, someone's getting fucked up. Yeah. Everyone's here having fun, good time. There's people here that are 15 years old. There's people here that are 50 years old. This is the fastest man out here. Yeah. The fastest man out here. He has, he has the credit. Eh? Yo, they're vouching for you. I believe you, bro. They're vouching for you. What happened to your legs, fam? The streets got me. Yeah? Yeah. What happened? I got hit by a truck. Shoot. And that didn't deter you at all? You're still... I still kill it. When you're street racing, you're not looking at your speed, you're just going. You gotta pay attention that you're not like 
because if you slip at all, you lose control. Someone steps out, a car moves out, mm -hmm. and I've seen it. It's happened here. So you just got to be on alert. Oh, yeah, you got to be on alert. Hmm. I would guess. I would guess. It sounds like some gunshot. I had to just jump yeah. real quick. Shoot. <laughs> You race, it's about the race that you're in. Mm. It doesn't matter if you're racing your mom's car to a, a built car. Yeah. You know, a race is a race, right? It's the energy, the drive that you get from it. You're pumped up. Thank you on a fucking roller coaster, but you're in control. I guess you. You want to stop? Stop. Now you let it hang. It's this unbelievable adrenaline rush. Mm. And right, being. Making sure you don't get caught by the cops and stuff. You don't get that at the track. <laughs> the flagger is the most responsible, or has the most responsibilities here. Mm -hmm. So like, he's got to make sure the road's clear. Because if he drops his hands, and there's a car in the middle of the road, that could be on him. It's, it's very interesting because there's a lot of safety to it. Well, yeah, like, there's been some incidences and, you know, we all want to go home at the end of the night. So, like, yeah, you know, like, we make sure the dragway's got to be clear. You know, all pedestrians are off the road. You know, then they'll drop hands and they'll go. Any car can do 200 fucking K, but is it safe? Can mm -hmm. you stop? Can mm -hmm. you turn? You mm -hmm. know? Can I handle that? That's mm. usually when someone gets into an accident. It's not only about racing, it's for yourself as well, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, look at all the people standing on the street. Mm -hmm. You roll a car down the street, you're taking out 50 people, 10 mm -hmm. cars, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I've seen it. So, some people roll it. Most dangerous part is when the cops come, everybody scatters. You know, you're inches away from people's bumpers. People are panicking, they're not thinking right, they're not checking their blind spots. That's when you're in the most danger. Street racing has been going on since the second car dropped off the assembly line. People, it doesn't matter what it is, people are just competitive. And unfortunately, I spent the better part of my career into major collision investigation, collision reconstruction, and stuff like that. We're the ones that see the aftermath to the, of, of this. Traffic collisions cost society more, devastate more Canadian families, and inflict more physical hardships than all other crimes combined in Canada. Period. 